When converting between compound units, you need to understand how to convert between different distances, areas, volumes, forces and time. Our last video covers all of this, so I would strongly advise watching that video first before watching this one, so you'd be more familiar with some of the concepts that are explained. Some units are a combination of some of the other units that we've talked about in this series. Here are four compound measures and their units. Check out our compound measures video to be more familiar on how they are used. Here are their units. Pressure is newtons per meter squared. Speed is meters per second. Density is kilograms over meters cubed. And acceleration is meters over second squared. These units are easily identified by using what you know about how to calculate the units. Pressure is calculated by dividing force by area. Therefore, the unit for pressure is a unit for force, which is newtons, divided by the unit for area, which is meters squared. The same reasoning can be applied to the other compound measures. Here's an example. A car is traveling at 30 meters per second. Convert this speed into kilometers per hour. We start by converting our value to the fraction 30 over one. This shows us that the car covers 30 meters per one second. We proceed now to convert the individual units to the desired units from the question. Using the relationship 1000 meters to one kilometer, we can convert 30 meters to kilometers using our divide up, multiply across technique, our Duma technique. Divide upwards, 30 by 1000, multiply across by one. The answer is 0 0.03 kilometers. Therefore, 30 meters is equivalent to 0 0.03 kilometers. Next, we move on to converting one second into hours. We start by using the relationship between seconds and minutes. There are 60 seconds in one minute. Then using the relationship between minutes and hours, which is 60 minutes to one hour. Divide up, multiply across. One divided by 60 times by one equals to 0 0.016 recurring. But for simplicity, I'll leave the answer as a fraction, one over 60. Next, we divide up, multiply across again. One over 60 divided by 60 times by one equals to one over 3,600. What's left to do is to divide our values to get the final answer. So 0 0.03 divided by one over 3,600, that gives us the answer 108. Therefore, 30 meters per second is equivalent to 108 kilometers per hour. By converting both parts of the fraction, we're able to hone in on the final answer. Another example, a stone has a density of 300 kilograms per meters cubed. Convert 300 kilograms per meter cubed to grams per centimeter cubed. Like previously, we change our values into a fraction, which is 300 over one. This shows that there are 300 kilograms per one meter cubed. Next, we convert 300 kilograms to grams using the relationship one kilogram to 1000 grams. Using our Duma technique, we divide up and multiply across. 300 divided by one times by 1000 equals to 300,000 grams. Now for the volume, the relationship between meters cubed and centimeters cubed is one cubed to 100 cubed or one to one million. Using our Duma technique again, we divide up, multiply across. One divided by one, multiplied by a million, equals to a million centimeters cubed. The last step is to divide our new values, 300,000 divided by one million, which equals to 0 0.3. Therefore, 300 kilograms per meters cubed is equivalent to 0 0.3 grams per centimeters cubed. How would we convert a pressure of 500 newtons per meter squared to kilonewtons per centimeter squared. Like before, start by changing our value into a fraction. 500 is now represented as 500 over one. This now shows that there are 500 newtons spread over one meter squared. Next, we convert the individual units. There are a thousand newtons that make up one kilonewton. So to change 500 newtons to kilonewtons, we use our Duma method once again, divide up, multiply across, 500 divided by 1,000 multiplied by one gives us 0 0.5 kilonewtons. The relationship between centimeter squared and meter squared is 100 squared to one squared or 10,000 to one. 
Using our trusted method once again, we divide up, multiply across. One divided by one, multiplied by 10,000 gives us 10,000 centimeters squared. The final step like before is to divide 0 0.5 by 10,000 to give us 0 0.00005 kilonewtons per centimeter squared. So to summarize, when converting compound units, change your value into a fraction. Convert the numerator and denominator unit into the desired units. And finally, divide your new values to get to the final conversion. Have a go at these questions. If you like this series, be sure to comment, like and subscribe to be kept updated on new in-depth videos and most importantly, share. I mean, what's the point of knowledge if you can't share it, right? And if we can make some people not give up on maths because of these videos, then our job is done. Don't see a topic you need help with? Suggest topics in the comment section. Thanks again for watching and for learning. Peace.